for Annihilation 2006, the Major, Major Morpheus Morenci, the system of rage, an unstoppable weapon of mass destruction, has issued an open challenge to anybody from WAW's past, present, or future. The Major has been unstoppable in recent weeks, having come close to winning the WAW Championship and having been responsible for laying out the entire Annihilation main event. A man with former United States Army credentials and honorable discharge from the military sent him here to WAW, where after a few months, he became a destructive force, becoming known as the System of Rage. In the future months, Major Morpheus Morenci would find allies who had also been in the United States military and would form Full Metal Jacket along with Captain Vincent Zarello, Lieutenant Craig Trace, and Colonel Bianca Wild. Since then, Major Morpheus Morenci has gone on his own and as of a few weeks ago issued the open challenge to the over 50 potential names that could accept. The one question that remains unanswered is just who will accept the challenge, and we will find out in just a few moments. Welcome back to Annihilation 2006, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the open match challenge by Major Morpheus Morenci. There are over 50 possible potential challengers that could emerge from the backstage area to accept this challenge. And now, it's only a matter of seconds and maybe at most a minute until we know who that man will be. Or hell, it could be a woman. Woman, who knows? Anybody could come out from WAW's past, present, or future. So now, let's wait and see who accepts the open challenge. Come out! I'm waiting! It's right here! Who is it? Don't it's Kung Fu Kill! Don't let the room Oh my god! Could it be for the first time in well over a year? Could it be? Will it be? It is! It's Carnage making his return from the injured list! He's been injured for well over a year! Carnage finally getting the medical clearance from the doctors on that surgically repaired right knee of his. And dead Carnage man. now screaming dead meat and charging the ring. He's the man that will accept the open challenge of Major Morpheus Morenci. And these two bulls are locking it up in the center of the ring. Major Morpheus Morenci charges for the clothesline. Carnage ducks and Carnage hits Morenci with a quick spear. And Carnage back with a vengeance. Here tonight at Annihilation 2006, Major Morpheus Morenci now is on top of Carnage. Carnage flips him over. Carnage now out to the outside of the ring and Morenci follows. This fight now into no man's land out on the outside of the floor. Morenci now hits Carnage on the side of the head. Hits him a couple of times. What's he going to do with him here? He tries to throw him into the ring post except he gets set in stomach first. Right into the ring post by Carnage. Carnage sends him head first into the brick wall. Morenci fell before Carnage could do that right there. Throw him into the other side. Carnage back full of vengeance, full of anger, wanting to get revenge on Major Morpheus Morenci. He was one of the four people that plotted against him to injure the right knee so Morenci could have the fall on a fallout three at last year's annihilation. Carnage standing tall here at Annihilation 2006 in the early goings of this open challenge match. Carnage now just standing over what he calls dead meat. Now he's picking him up, he's got him on the shoulder. And he's going to drive him right into the turnbuckles. And he's hanging him in the tree of woes position. Carnage talking a little trash to Morenci. Now going back to the opposite side. He gives the cutthroat and he drives a shoulder right into the ribs of Major Morpheus Morenci. Carnage with a complete and dominant advantage right now over Major Morpheus Morenci. And well, in recent weeks, he's been a destructive force. He's not looking so destructive right now. 
He's looking like a weapon of mass destruction that uh, just kind of hissed out when the bomb was supposed to go off. Currency sent him to the opposite side. Carnage now charging, and he gets a close line in the corner on Major Morpheus Morenzi. Morenzi being totally housed and dominated right now by Carnage. Carnage comes in, and Morenzi moves out of the way. Morenzi now has Carnage. What's he going to do with him? Trying for a body slam. And Carnage hammers him in the back, but Morenzi now throws him off the opposite side with an Irish whip. And we got a clothesline takedown by Major Morpheus Morenzi on the Carnage. Morenzi now going off the ropes. Here he comes back. Clothesline takes Carnage right down, right back to his back. Morenzi now going for a cover. We got a cover of two. And Carnage gets his shoulder up at the count of two, narrowly avoiding a defeat there at the hands of the system of rage. Major Morpheus Morenzi now with a rear chin lock, driving that knee into the lower back. The mid, the mid to lower back of Carnage. Got it between the shoulder blades now. Now he's kind of almost got it on the neck. Carnage trying to fight loose, and he does. He's no longer got the knee into the back. And now he's driving elbows into the midsection of Morenzi. Now sends him off the opposite side with an Irish whip. And we got a shoulder block takedown by Morenzi. Stopping the quick momentum there of Carnage. Morenzi now coming off the opposite side, jumping over. Guess he's wanting to do a happy little leap there. Tra -la, 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 la leaping over Carnage. I don't know what the hell Morenzi was doing there. Morenzi now with a hard clubbing blow right to the spine of Carnage, hammering away with those massive forearms. Now coming off the opposite side, chop blocks that surgically repaired right knee of Carnage. If Morenzi does what he's done in the past, history may repeat itself on the return of Carnage. This knee could blow out again and he could be gone again for a while. Same thing happened to Puma back in 2004. He came back, he fought Morenzi, Morenzi attacked that injured knee and his knee blew out when he tried giving the Puma press. Carnage now getting out of that leg lock that was held on tight by Morenzi with an eye rake using a dirty hole to get out. But Morenzi was fighting dirty there, going after the knee, so you had to do what you had to do. And Morenzi just kicked that knee right out from underneath Carnage. Morenzi now locking on that Indian death lock. This could be all for Carnage. That knee has been worked over for the last minute and a half. That could be all it needs. We don't know exactly how strong that surgically repaired knee is at this point. Morenzi now turning it over. He has got it cinched on. But uh, hey, referee, Morenzi's under the ropes. The hold needs to be broken. He's holding the rope. For Come on, Rat. Check it out. He's under the ropes and he was holding the ropes. Two offenses right away there. I swear these mass referees are a little retarded sometimes. Referee finally catching on and ordering Morenzi to break the hold that was held on with an assist from the ropes. Carnage now trying to get back up on his feet, that fighting spirit of the former WAW champion. He was only champion for four weeks. His reign was cut short because of the injury inflicted at the hands of Full Metal Jacket. And Carnage is back here tonight seeking revenge and seeking blood of the man who was the ringleader at the time, Major Morpheus Morenzi. The two men trading chalk back and forth. Now Carnage getting the advantage with some clubbing blows right to the side of the head of Morenzi, missing a clothesline. Spine buster there by Carnage as he missed the clothesline, turned around and caught Morenzi with a spine buster. Carnage now starting to really get the adrenaline pumping. Knee to the stomach, here he comes off the ropes. What's he gonna go for here? Ax kick right to the back of Major Morpheus Morenzi dropping down the Major. Turning him over, going for a nonchalant cover. We only get two, as Morenzi had a very easy time getting that shoulder up. Carnage with a nonchalant pin. That cost him dearly there. 
Carnage now with Maritzi, trying for that full Nelson slam. Maritzi hooking that leg around to block the move. Now he's got it hooked. He's trying for a full Nelson slam on Carnage. We've got a struggle here. Carnage breaking the hands. Carnage with a knee to the stomach of Major Morpheus Maritzi. What's he gonna do with him here? Power bomb! Slamming Maritzi right down in the center of the ring. We got a cover, we got a count. We only get two as Maritzi kicks out at the count of two. Carnage now getting back up to his feet, trying to keep that firm advantage that he's got at this present time over Major Morpheus Maritzi. And now it looks like he's gonna go for maximum carnage. He's given the cutthroat. This could be all for Maritzi after that power bomb. And Maritzi, he gets it reversed. Boiling point on the carnage. This has gotta be all, no. Maritzi falls off after the boiling point. Now he rolls back on. That could cost him, and it does. Carnage gets the shoulder up. Maritzi should have stayed on top of him. He would have had a three, and instead he only gets two. Referee back down to count again, and Carnage gets another shoulder up. Maritzi now waiting for Carnage to get up. He's got him, scoop slam set up. This could be the meltdown. Wait a second, no, Carnage reverse it out. Maritzi now hammering him in the back. And Maritzi tries it again, Carnage, boiling point of his own. Carnage with the boiling point on Major Morpheus Maritzi. This could be all, we got a two. Oh, we almost had three. Major Morpheus Maritzi kicking out at the count of two. Carnage now going to pick up Morenci once more. Bringing him into the front corner of the ring, front left side. What's he gonna do with him here? Sends him off with an iris rip into the far end of the ring. Now charging, catches a face full of boot from Major Morpheus Morenci. Morenci now gonna try for the meltdown a third time here. Here he goes, he's getting the spin going. Carnage resisting, he's got Morenci and he's got him locked in. The Kaja Hadame by Carnage. He's got it locked in. Will he be, a, he's got him down. He's got the legs hooked. This has gotta be all for Major Morpheus Morenci. He has got nowhere to go, nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. He is locked in tight on that Kaja Hajame by Carnage. Morenci struggling with it. Can he get out? No, he won't. He taps out in Carnage in his first match in over a year. Picks up the victory over Major Morpheus Morenci. What a match, what a brawl, what a fight between these two powerful men. And the power of Carnage was able to overcome the power of Major Morpheus Morenci to get a victory here in his return to WAW. Haha, <laughs> not rocking. What a successful return for Carnage here at Annihilation 2006. But Carnage doesn't look like he's done. Carnage now heading back into the ring. What is he gonna do now? That's referee asking him to hold off, saying Morenci's hurt. And Carnage throws the referee aside. Come on, Carnage! Carnage now taking Major Morpheus Morenci to the center of the ring. Give it a cutthroat. Could it be time for Maximum Carnage? Here he comes, Maximum Carnage. By Major Morpheus Morenci. Excuse me, by Carnage. On Major Morpheus Morenci. Wow, what a match and what a night thus far. We are only about halfway through the night, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next will be the first ever coffin match. Two men, one wooden tomb. Four hammers, four nails, excuse me, and one hammer. Gino Diomedes and Christian Save will both attempt to seal the fate of their respective opponent in the first ever coffin match. And that is coming up next 
here at Annihilation 2006. Who will seal the fate of their opponent in the first coffin match? We will find out coming up next at Annihilation 2006.